Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. So let's go ahead and tap into these messages real quick. What's the message? What do we need to know? Okay, somebody here is to never give up. That's what I'm picking up on here. Never give up. This could be um, something happening within your family, a lack of support or structure, or this could be in terms of housing or something like that. Okay, it looks like somebody here cannot get a, a, a picture on something. Somebody's trying to figure whatever this plan is out. Okay, something has, somebody here has planned something out. And I feel like there's going to be a revelation to what somebody is planning behind the scenes. Somebody could be broke, lost their job, have no home, or you're dependent on someone else or whatever this is. Okay. Somebody could be staying with a friend or using somebody as a backup plan in their time of need. Three of swords. Somebody definitely has been let down, um, sad and feeling depleted. OK, but I feel like something is just not over. Somebody's not willing to throw in the towel here. Ten of Wands. I believe that something plays in somebody's mind over and over and over that they will have to pay for later. OK, because it's going to bring some type of unwelcoming change here. All right. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and Page of Swords could be significant. Now I'm going to be pulling individually each, um, each card. So we're going to start with why 10 of pentacles is here. Why is the 10 of pentacles in reverse? What needs to become more balanced in order for you to have an upright 10 of pentacles Virgo. Okay. So we have the eight of pentacles in the upright, the five of cups. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Let me clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody definitely is trying to um, cause you to have instabilities or a lack of uh, balance in your support, your family, or your money, your career. Okay. So it looks like somebody here is going through... Um, somebody here could be going through familial disputes or there could be bankruptcy Somebody's partner or someone you are close to or connected with, they're definitely going through something. You could be helping this person. Yeah, you, you're the queen of pentacles. It looks like somebody here is not taking some type of work seriously and may lose everything because somebody didn't think something through. They thought they had something down packed and they did it. And you're somebody's means of getting shit together. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody is definitely uncertain of how whatever this is, is going to play out. So it leaves somebody confused or there could be some sort of like lashing out or argument. Somebody's very temperamental. Okay. It could also come off like somebody could bully if they were angry enough. Okay. Somebody definitely with this eight of swords will be um, empowering themselves to release, surrender, or survive some type of situation, even if that means they're not really sure on, on what this clarity brings them. But I do believe that you will carry some type of um, success. I don't know why I would say healthy. Okay. Somebody here, it's like when it comes to your health or your mental state, you're, you're going to have that all intact to do what you got to do. Okay. The numbers two and 10 could be significant here. Okay, somebody somebody here could be walking away from some type of business deal. Um, I heard the word counterpart or some sort of ship. I don't know if this is a relationship, a um, whatever this is. It looks like somebody's taking a leap of faith to to do something here. Somebody went from being hopeless to taking a leap of faith. Tell me more. What's the message? Okay, so we do have uh, the world. 
in reverse, number 21, earth sign energy. So somebody here is definitely failing when it comes to getting something to close out. Somebody may not be having it. Okay, this shows a lack of achievement or feeling like whatever it is that you're going to receive by walking away, somebody's unhappy with your choice to do so, or this could be for you with this other person. But I do believe that change is inevitable. You can't escape it. Okay, it's faded at this moment. And somebody's in their feelings, very overwhelmed, anxious, very withdrawn, manipulative, arrogant, etc. because of this decision. Okay. I do see the 10 of cups in the upright. So somebody here will have domesticated happiness, harmony, um, family could be back on the right track and somebody could be moving in as well. Okay, if this is about a relationship, you could be moving in with your person or spending more quality time with the people that you love, whether it's your immediate family or the person you love. Okay, I feel like you all want to merge into one family and not just as, oh, this is my immediate family and this is the family that I want to create. It's going to be merged. Okay, I feel like there's going to be some type of union, not only between you and the significant other or this friend, if this is about a friendship, this is about having a union, okay? A soul tribe or whatever this type of unity is or what it means to you. All right, period. Let's see. Somebody here has the, the letters T and R as well as L in their name. We have the camel and the pig. So it looks like you're going to move further than you were at. There could have been some type of stagnancy or delays. I feel like you are persevering, but you also need to be aware of somebody that could be trying to um, use you or somebody that wants to you to overindulge. Okay. I heard the word periodically. Okay, with this bread card. So this is not somebody that likes to do this like daily or every other day. Somebody will make it seem like it's just a regular natural situation so that you don't catch on to their greediness, them being a pig versus you as the camel. Okay. We have period of prosperity and abundance. So there's something that you're going to have at your table that you work so very hard for. Do not allow this pig to see that you, what you got and because they ain't got shit or they're not working for something that they come over to your table and scrape up whatever it is that they can find. Because here you go on your journey. You need water. You need food. You need fuel. You need both of these things to keep going so you don't get burnt out. Okay. Tell me more about this pig. Beware of greed. Somebody wants to do the bare minimum while you're doing everything to support, help them and be there for them. Would they do the same for you? Whoever this person is, they're a dark man. Okay. Somebody here wants it all, but wants to give the bare minimum here. Okay. There's some sort of time frame between March to September or September to March. Okay. So from now till March, I feel like there's going to be heavy work or um, some type of schedule that you're on where something happens, okay? I'm seeing pineapple reconciliation. So you're going to be building some sort of connection or reconciling with somebody from your past. It could be a dark woman, dealings, with, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Who is this dark woman? Okay, this is somebody that um, could be leading you to this hat energy where you will be playing a different role or somebody is trying to give you some type of like um, anchor within a job or a position so that you will meet this younger man or stumble upon this person or I don't know, somebody's doing some type of sneaky shit, okay? Younger man, somebody's sicking this younger man on you. He could be the dark younger man. Beware of your 
health. Pay attention to your health. You might be in need of, a, of help or assistance and guidance, but it looks like whatever it is that you're already going through or what kind of spilled over to whatever is going on in your life, the most difficult part of a situation is over. So clarifying the, the cane and the hand, I see scissors. Okay, somebody could try to cause you to be sick. You need to watch out for this dark woman, this younger man, and this dark man. Okay, tell me more about these scissors before I head into the next oracle card. Beware self-delusions. Not everybody is trying to be there for you or is trying to build you up. Somebody could be trying to come into your life to break it down, but make it seem like they're your friends. Why would they do that? Somebody's trying to cover up their, in, their true intentions here so that you will be wrapped up in what they're trying to get you to believe. Okay. A wish will be granted here. We have fan romance celebration party. Beware of what somebody's giving you to drink. Somebody could be trying to get you to sever away from your mental, your mental space. Okay. Because it looks like somebody is looking for you or thinking of you. What's the message? Be careful of, of people using, um, items as weapons. Okay. Somebody could be overseas. Okay. For some of you, there is some type of movement when it comes to money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. All right. The, the, not the number, but June is at the bottom of the deck to this door. There's an opportunity that's waiting for you. Okay. By way of a Gemini or since June. Okay. You're going to be enjoying some time with friends as well here. Okay. Okay. Look, somebody here want to throw money on you, but they're throwing money to sleep with you. Okay. They think that this is going to make you jump because a rabbit, that's what they do. They make quick decisions. They jump. They're smart. They might be smart to jump, but not quick to make the best decision. So be careful of somebody like this. It doesn't matter how, how good of a time you might be spending with somebody or around someone. And this doesn't have to be an exclusive time that you're spending with somebody. Just know that you need to be careful around somebody here. Somebody could try to jeopardize your health and this could be sexually. Okay. Be careful who you're sleeping with. I can't tell you what to do, but I could say that you don't want to do something stupid and end up regretting it later. All right. Y'all, y'all are grown folks. If y'all don't have like, you know, the common, the common cause of, of being very naive and you ain't got to worry about that. Some people don't have the mentality or the space to do that. Some, somebody got mental problems or don't really care. They like taking risks. They live on the edge. They live life on the edge. Be careful. Somebody's trying to compromise your health here. Okay. Or something to do with your mental state. There's something that somebody wants you to have a, a short fuse or switch. They want to cut off some type of switch or um, disconnect you from something here. All right. We have ma mask and chaser. So it looks like somebody's mask is slipping from being um, this deluded um, pretender, whoever this person is. It's like somebody can no longer pretend that they want to come in for a chase. Okay. There, this could be a chaser in a codependent relationship that wants to chase, but they don't know how to break it off with this person. Okay. Somebody could see you or wants to start off some type of soulmate attra attraction with you, but they have somebody that they can't get off their back because they're crazy. Somebody's addicted to your love, man. Or you got somebody hooked already and they, they haven't even gotten you to have your claws in them. So how is that possible? Like your energy is magnetic, okay? I'm hearing something about history or the past could be referring to the past. We have face your fears, release the power of fear here. Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. We definitely need this at this time. And we need Archangel Michael as well to protect us from, you know, dark energies. Okay. Sexual vampires. You have choices, feeling blocked. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody's trying to cut you off from being healed 
or, or um, taking forward steps to still being on that road to this healing journey. Somebody's trying to trip you up or cut you off from something. Do not drink poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. Whether that's sexually, whether that's um, intimately or whatever it is, stop doing things that's bad for you. We have changed in the night, number 11. You have changed quickly. Friendship. Nurture your friendships. Nurture your relationships. All right? Something is definitely not over between you and someone that you love, that's close to you, that's a family member, um, a friend, a neighbor, or whoever. All right? I do see that somebody is definitely very focused on their work or some sort of goal that they might feel like they've they've done what they have to do, but there's still more work that needs to be done here, okay? So you're like a perfectionist, Virgo. It's in our blood. This is what we want. We strive for perfection, even though that's not possible. We are not perfect, but we strive for perfection. You have some type of big happy change here, Virgo. I heard it's going to make you very content. Somebody's in a content space and energy right now. Big happy changes. I feel like, yeah, this is it. Somebody has their hands in the air like, damn, this is everything that I've been waiting for. And this is, the, this is exactly the type of distraction that I need from all the noise or what I've been through. We have Memento, a gift from someone special. Okay, somebody here from your past, didn't I say history and past? Not even five minutes ago, somebody from your past is returning to your life, trying to give you something. There's a gift that somebody has for you that you should pay attention to or not even touch. You shouldn't even touch this. Okay. In order to receive something, you got to touch it. You got to reach out and, and receive it by touching it. You, you shouldn't be touching this. All right. Somebody's energy is very tainted. Okay. And there's a reason why it says pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to something that somebody want to give you or it's like they're insisting on giving you something. They're insisting that you take something. Something's wrong with it. If somebody is forcing something on you and they won't give up or they keep talking about something or they're like, you know, eat it, drink it, uh, use it. Have you, have you um, tried it on? Baby, there's some there's some type of darkness that's attached to whatever it is that they're giving you. Okay. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So if you have any qualms with your parents or um, anybody in your family, it's time to start to get that rectified because it could definitely pour into the connections that you build with people. Okay, let's see here. Start making amends if you can, if it is fixable. There's nothing that you can't do, Virgo. Happy birthday to the ones that have celebrated a birthday. I know for some of us, our birthdays are still coming up. So happy belated and happy birthday when your, your birthday does come. All right. There's something that you don't feel like you've hoped or wish for or manifested that's come came in with this wish in reverse. I feel like somebody here has wanted to get disconnected from a person that may have their eyes on you. And this is somebody that you yourself are not fascinated or watching or even pay any mind to. It has something to do with a karmic relationship or connection to somebody from your past. Okay. Somebody here may be occupied dating or in a serious relationship, whatever this is. Yeah. They're in a long-term relationship, but somebody here still has you at the back of their mind while they're in a relationship or this is vice versa. Okay. I feel like somebody here has traveled. Okay. I feel like somebody here has cold feet about something or they're picking up on some type of low vibrational energy from the person that they are, um, initiating to marry. Okay. Something's not right with someone. Somebody's not right in the head. This could be a, a feminine energy. This is somebody that's looking for payback. 
okay, because this person has not been able to be hemmed up to be attached or addicted or toxic the way that they wanted them to be. That's just period. Somebody's mad that you got your self-esteem intact and your ego and you only bring that out when it is absolutely necessary when they abuse it. Hmm. Let's see. Tell me more. What's the message for Virgo? Okay, so it looks like somebody here may be trying to unbind themselves from someone that may carry these toxic or negative destructive patterns. And it looks like it's it's this time here that somebody's using to trust in the divine that something will take form. Yeah, courage and strength here. Okay, somebody definitely here may be showing you nurturing compassion. Okay, somebody definitely wants to show you that they're the ones that you need to choose to connect yourself to. To get into a relationship with. This could be somebody you already know or you've had some type of encounter with. You intimately have some type of unfinished business with someone that is unable to shape shift. Somebody cannot um, use that energy to shape shift. Okay. You and somebody are not in sync. When it comes to relationships, y'all are broken up. It seems like forever. Or something is done and over with. There's no going back. Somebody is not in love or doesn't admire somebody in their friend group or doesn't like their friend like that. Tell me more about this. We have thoughts. Somebody here could be stuck in their thoughts. They're having isolated thoughts. They're having isolated thoughts about their soulmate or who they see this soulmated connection with. Okay. Hmm. Somebody could have a friend that they were sleeping with or had this um, loosely involved situation. Look, flow is in reverse. Something lacked harmony or stability. And somebody is definitely trying to make sure that that cord is cut, babe. Because they're picking up that this person is still in love with you or you're in love with them. And they're just too, too I guess whatever to say this we have legal matters disputes it could be something of the law that needs to be tended to or somebody that may have to appear in court before a judge or documents that need to be sent in it looks like somebody here cannot pick up on your energy telepathically through dreams or songs all right so this may be a very detailed message. Okay, so we have hickeys. Somebody here could have given their partner or whoever they were dealing with hickeys. Somebody here is to pull back the energy. But somebody could be using hickeys as a way to do blood magic. Somebody wants to be able to break the skin to do blood magic. This was the, a delivered instruction to come towards you, to give you hickeys for a um, blood magic to tie y'all together. We have dating stage. Somebody here wanted to enter a dating stage without having to, to get consent, verbal consent or, or whatever this was. Karmic lover. This is somebody that wanted you to be indulged in dark and possessive things to initiate this relationship. Somebody is using your spiritual gifts to solve their problems because of this blood magic, them breaking the skin through giving you hickeys. 
We have regret. Somebody regrets choices that caused a lot of issues in their life. Somebody's having a lot of second thoughts about the people that they have or they accepted in their life here. We have hiding evidence. Somebody feels like there is somebody that is hiding evidence of having angelic being or has abilities of being angelic or whatever this is here. Let's go ahead and expose the haters. Expose the haters real quick. Expose the haters. Okay, so somebody here definitely behind the scenes is secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. It's this karmic or a third party or somebody that is close to you here. You will witness somebody's karma for spreading rumors about you, gossip and slander on your name, but still trying to copy you as if they carry the same DNA as you. They're just a watered down version of you trying to be you. Somebody hates on your body image, your exercise routine because you look good and they can't bring the same level of effort or energy. So they cause you to miss out on opportunities here. This person that's hating on you is a narcissistic individual or they, they behave like a narcissist. Tell me more. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have a conspiracy conspiracy theorist that wants you to go down the rabbit hole to believe something that doesn't make any sense that there's no evidence or proof. They just want you to go down the rabbit hole with them because that's what they believe, but they can't prove it. This is just what they feel. Um, they use knowledge to, to some degree to prove that without even having to, to, to see it or retrieve evidence. Like I said, somebody here pretends to cheer others on, but disagrees with their lifestyle. Somebody here has flat. Somebody here is flashy, tries to prove their worth to the wrong people outside of you. But the real gag is that somebody can't get over you. So they stalk your social media, trying to pretend to be one of your supporters or your subscribers, um, to be a part of your um, patron or whatever this is here. Somebody is uninterested and unbothered. That's your energy. You're, un you're uninterested and unbothered. This person is also sleeping around with multiple people. When their phone rings at night and you're wondering why they're getting calls at this time of the night, it's their clients or whoever it is that they got besides you that they're sleeping with. When they can't sleep and the, the people around them are up at night and they can't sleep, they're swapping DNA with this person and then telling people that you're doing it or they're only doing it because they thought you were doing it, but they really just want to do it on their own. They just try to use you as a, as a scapegoat so that they wouldn't look like they're, they're out doing dirt, but they are. This is somebody that will go out and shed their the last tear that they have, knowing that they are damn fool, and they will shed tears to make it look like, you know, they got some type of feelings. This is all an act. This is all for play. I'm telling you, somebody has a child or there could be a feminine energy that's sick, okay? Somebody may be trying to pray for a child to be sick. I'm telling you, when you see, when you have children and you know them better than anybody, somebody's trying to make sure that the people in your household are sick or they make you sick. 
Look, I can't make this up. If somebody can't get to stealing something or per they want you to have a loss, they attack your immune system or they try to mess you up so that, you know, your head is in the clouds. They try to do that to slow you down so that they get a head start on whatever this is that they're doing. Hmm. They think that you're going to give up and just, you know, wait till the clock runs out. I'm telling you, these people, if they think they're going to heaven, they ain't going to heaven. Or they're going to have to do a lot of backflips and, and do, you know, do things on God's request to get in there. I'm telling you, somebody has bad karma built up for them. They have so much bad karma racked up. It's, it's crazy. Somebody could be seeing the number 35. Yeah, somebody here is trying to orchestrate that something be stagnated, stopped, or flopped for you, okay? Somebody wants to cause you some type of injustice with no evidence left behind, all right? Somebody wants to be that person that they're watching everything go down, but they're the ones that plotted and planned for this whole thing to go down, making it seem like they just watched it. They had nothing to do with it. They were the ones that, you know, was like, oh, damn, this is crazy. But, oh, damn, it was you. <laughs> it was you. Stop playing yourself. Stop playing yourself. Stop. Stop. Justice is here. The scales are going to be balanced the way that they should be. Not because they said it, but that's the way that God made everything is to be fair. And when things are not fair and they tip the scales for it to go in their favor, they just have to remember you have the gift. You're God's child. And you see, Oya, Oya can call upon the life of a person to save your own. So somebody needs to take heed. Okay. There's also a marriage that's in shambles right now because marriage is in reverse. It looks like somebody's headed for divorce here. It, somebody could be hit with divorce before they can even blink. Let's see. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. What is it that we need to know currently at this time? Okay, so we have influence. So there is outsiders, outside people that are not in your circle that seem to be allowing you to cross their mind. This could be a, a feminine here. Somebody is unable to escape. Unable to escape something here. It kind of sounded like somebody was breathing in my ear for like a split second. Went right past my ear and breathed in my ear. Somebody definitely is trying to use energetic forces to force, a, force out some type of depleted energy. And it looks like somebody is in a rush to undergo some type of illusion or put you through one so that you don't know that they're borrowing your energy or using you as a power source. Let's see who this person is. Let's go ahead and pull a card here. Who are these people that have attachments to you that are third party or peers that are pulling on your energy, using it like a backup generator. Is somebody that you may have uh, made amends with or cooperated with. This could have been recently, like five days, five months ago. Or somebody you may have known for, for five years, five months. All right, could be a Leo, a Leo, possibly a Taurus or a Virgo. 
This could be somebody you work with or made money with, did some type of assignment or project. Yep. Three of Wands keeps showing up. So it looks like you're going to move forward or you've gained some type of momentum with confidence to expand or to go to certain heights to reach victory and success. This makes me want to bring back my, um, what is it called? It's the purple deck. It's the Oracle deck. I'm going to bring it back. I kind of miss it. So this is definitely a Leo, Taurus, or Virgo that is pulling on your energy. Using you as their influence to regenerate their energy. Somebody is an energy vampire living off of you. You need to do a cord cutting ceremony because you still have some type of ties to someone that is a liar, a manipulator, a two faced backstabber that's living a double life. Somebody has never told you the truth. Everything they, they told you was a lie or to sway your decision. Somebody's going to pay, though. One person has to run to shore and one person has to drown. That's just the way it is. And Virgo, I feel like it's going to be this person. Somebody's going to wish they never went the route to be two-faced against you, to cause you sadness. For you not to heal or find joy, but to be toxic and to confuse you. Okay, so it looks like there's something that's taking a little bit longer for a transformation or a change to come about. Or somebody is still trying to make sense of something from the past or um, this could be about a death or, or something like that or a near death experience or wanting something to happen to somebody. Yeah, this is somebody that you don't like that wants something to happen to you or they want to come back into your life to cause problems. Okay, this could be a co-worker or, or whatever this is. Somebody may be even transferred to a place that you work at or whatever it is that you're doing that's very productive. Somebody wants, it to, wants you to struggle um, medically or when it comes to your health without you even knowing what's, what measures are taking place. But guess what? God always creates a pathway where you will not struggle, suffer, or be in poverty. Okay? Somebody's going to be in despair full despair because they were behind the scenes as this false person trying to deplete you of your finances or make sure that you won't have something to provide for your family. But guess what? You're blessed and highly favored with this love card. And here comes the good fortune, baby. Boom. It's called psychic tarot. There we go. I'm going to bring back my psychic tarot deck. I kind of retired it because, you know, I like to rotate my oracles just to make sure that I'm using everything. And sometimes when I channel, I'm being directed to use certain um, decks. Look, privileged lady and main female. This is what they didn't want you to be. But this is what your destiny is. And whether they like it or not, it's going to happen. In the name of, of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, no weapon that's formed against the Virgo shall prosper. Okay, somebody's unable to cope because they don't have their bottle, their alcoholic beverage, or um, anything to smoke. Somebody here is having um, bad withdrawals. Okay, somebody's having bad withdrawals here. I feel like whatever somebody tried to do to make sure that your kids were at risk for being taken is going in the reverse, man. This is somebody that you might have bumped heads with and tried to um, make up lies 
or, or fact check something that didn't even turn out. You are not somebody that just gives yourself away to people. And if you do, it's with good judgment. Okay. You do not just want to sleep around and have rough sex. You want to make love in this club. Okay. Period. We have crying over you. Somebody's crying over the fact that you're not giving yourself to them. And it looks like whatever tactic they ran with or whatever somebody convinced this person to do to talk bad about you, they had no facts to back it up. Somebody's feeling real dumb. Just like Rihanna said, you look so dumb right now. You look so dumb right now. Standing outside my house trying to apologize. You're so ugly when you cry, please. Just cut it out. <laughs> Somebody needs to take a bow because them are big Jinnal. Jinnal just means that somebody here pretends like they're not doing anything that is unintentional or intentional, I should say, but they are. Yeah, somebody feels threatened because you're pretty intimidating, successful, and smart. We have present future events. Okay. So somebody here could be working on finding a job or getting another job on top of a job. We have afraid of greatness. Somebody here is afraid of greatness because they believe that if they do tend to be great, that they may relapse and allow their gambling issues to become a thing of the present. Okay, we have genitals. So somebody here may, may have a scar on their genital area. This could be your son. Or somebody could be like um, describing a person's genital area to clarify whether, whether what? Internal work or healing. Somebody could be doing some internal work, okay, or cleansing their, their genital area or whatever this is. Somebody needs a scrub down. Somebody needs to, you know, go over that pot where they can just, you know, get everything out. Somebody needs to do a cleanse of their genital area. We have heart. You're one step ahead of somebody when it comes to your intentions, your feelings, or whatever this is. You're one step ahead of the game about somebody's intentions here. Somebody could be trying to use your name your number or something like that to, to do some type of insurance claim or fraud under your name. We have hostage or ransom. Somebody's definitely trying to hold something so that you, nah, 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 boss, not for I, not for the I and I, <laughs> I don't think so. Somebody's going to have to come clean. Okay for trying to put something on hold and using a crooked lawyer that they paid to make you look like you gave somebody some type of STD or whose, whose story is this? We have good woman or good man. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see here. Let me pull that extra one. Yeah. I said this in my last read. Somebody always trying to use the prostitute card when they project in mind over matter. My ear starting to ring. Okay, we have blackout or shutdown. Somebody here wants you not to be focused or to um, crash out, bro. Somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant on top of a STI, STD, or whatever this is. Somebody's having a headache. This could mean that you're blacking out. Somebody's having a migraine, something that's in front of the frontal lobe. There's a mother that has mental issues and is unable to care for a child. Protective service could, could, could be involved. We have the letter A here. Okay. So this mother to a child could be investigated. Her name could start with the letter A. Us. Be careful who your, your children are friends with because I just ran into a little situation where, hmm, there's some just, you know, when I talk, nobody listens until 
everything that I said previous to what happened happens. Nobody, nobody listens, bro. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.